Hey guys, got another bow review for you. I uh, really excited about this bow review. I have a 2012 model Bear Anarchy in Shadow Black series. This bow specs include 35 inches, 35 and a quarter inches axle to axle, draw length adjustability from 26 to 31 inches, draw weight adjustability from 40 to 70 pounds in 10 inch increments on the limbs. This bow is currently set at 60 pounds, 29 inches. All I have on it, D-loop, peep sight. The bow, uh, I, I got it off of a gentleman from Archery Talk who shot it uh, 3D and I, this bow attracted me for two reasons. It's 35 inches axle to axle and it's 3.9 pounds. I've found that heavier bows are harder. I'm, I'm not, I don't have the biggest shoulders, so for me, a lighter bow is easier to hold steady on target. And so, I really wanted a bow for 3D that I could take hunting if I wanted to, but primarily for 3D, and this bow attracted me. So I got it. It was pretty far out of tune when I got it. I tuned it back up. Single cam bows tolerate being out of tune much better than dual cam bows. That's another reason, you know, the tunability of a single cam bow attracted me and I have shot the bear game over I've owned the bear game over in bear attack so bear archery has always been good to me shot my biggest buck with the bear attack that I've ever killed you know and so I have a fondness in my heart for bear archery <clears throat> I like the legacy of bear archery and so when they came out with the anarchy I really wanted one but couldn't afford that $900 price tag and bear marketed this bow and said hey this bow is going to compete with your top line bows this bow is going to compete with your Bowtex, your Matthews your Hoyts. This bow is going to be a bow that we bring out to compete. This was actually the first bow they did that that really had the price tag to match what they were saying. The Bear Attack was 699 bucks brand new. The Bear Carnage was 799 This one is 899 to 950 bucks brand new. <clears throat> Obviously I didn't pay that because I can't afford that but I thought I'd bring this bow review to you because you know if you're like me and you, you you are a dedicated archer and you don't have a lot of money to break the bank. You don't want to go out and buy a brand new bow every year, but you like trying new things out. You try, you like you know, the attractability of a long axle axle bow and a lightweight, then this bow can definitely be for you. When I got the bow out of the package, the first thing I noticed is Shadow Black series with the, the silver cams. Absolutely love the series. Love the finish, no flaws. Uh, in previous bear models, the, they had a problem with the baking and you know around the limb pockets and the limbs and things of that nature. The camel finish would wear off and, and just chip. Just you wouldn't even have to hit the bow; it would just chip as you shot the bow. Uh, this bow's been shot a bunch, from what I can tell, and no problems there. The bear contraband strings are great. One of the reasons I think that the new rage in the archery industry is a black bow is the customizability you have with your color choice. You can really make these bows look sweet and I love the fact that Bear left this bow with a really neutral and I'll show you the decals. They're orange but they're not you know over the top left it really neutral colored so you can really do a lot of things to make this bow look great. So when you take it to the 3D range or you take it out in the woods man you're gonna have a conversation piece. But Enough about looks, that's secondary. Let's talk about how this bow shoots. I will go ahead and draw an arrow. My little brother's sitting over here. He thinks, he thinks he's cool stuff. But the first thing that I, I wanted to tell about this bow is, you know, I, I like a good, comfortable draw cycle. I don't want it to be you know, stiff, I don't want it to be harsh. I want to be able to pull it back with ease. I can pull 60 pounds and I want it to feel like 60 pounds. So, right there I'm at peak weight and it holds it all the way into the valley. Good solid back wall, but it does have some mush to it. Uh, one thing I've read about these Bear Anarchy bows, and it does it on this bow too, is that the cam actually rubs up against the control cable on the bow at full draw. Almost like a cam lean type of effect. I'm going to put my first two fingers together and shoot this bow for So it's got the dual arc offset string suppressors which really do help 
out with vibration. Really like that aspect of this bow. I like the fact that it's uniform across. You don't have the string oscillating more on the top of the bow compared to on the bottom of the bow. You know, with your single <coughs> string stops, you can have some string oscillation up higher on the bow and create some inconsistency in your shot. So that's Bear's marketing deal there. But they don't eliminate all the vibration. This bow, you know, if you shoot it open hand, you're not going to feel it. But, you know, closing your fingers or relaxing your hand, you do feel a tuning fork effect. Love the creep on the bow is nice. You know, it doesn't want to yank you out. But when it goes, it's ready to go. You know, it's when it goes, you're at peak weight. There's no <coughs> ifs, ands, or buts. It's ready to go. The, the draw cycle is got a good, smooth feel to it but it is relatively inconsistent. You know, you start off really light, you get really heavy, and then you dump off into the valley. Um, I don't like that about this bow. I, I, it's very smooth, don't get me wrong, and it's just, maybe it's just me, it's just a different feel for me, but I don't like that you're, you're, you start pulling it back and you're expecting a really nice draw cycle, and then it gets really stiff. Um, and I've shot some stiff bows, trust me. I've shot Bowtex and 82nd Airborns, and I've currently got a Bowtech experience, and, you know, this bow is as stiff as those bows. And I think that has something to do with this flat top cam. This flat top cam is very aggressive. It, at, it's, it's, it's flat on the posterior side of the cam to increase the speed, I guess, of this bow. Because as that cam begins to rotate back around to resting position, then if this is rounded here, you have more resistance against the string and thereby decreasing the speed. So the flat top cam is supposed to increase your speed a little bit but it is it is an aggressive cam you know and I think maybe that's why it starts off really light because you ain't pulling against much and then it gets really heavy um, the back wall like I said is a little mushy a lot like my bear attack it, it really doesn't feel any different than my bear attack at all uh, the back wall is it, it's not not something I like the most I like a good solid back wall I like to know when I'm you know when I'm at that back wall, when I'm at that back wall, I don't have to worry about, you know, pulling any more than I have to. I don't have to worry about pulling against, shoot against back tension. You know, I shoot against back tension, but whether or not you're pulling 20 pounds or 25 pounds or, you know, 30 pounds up against that back wall, it's hard to tell because the back wall is a little bit mushy. I really don't like the fact that the cam rubs against the control cable. You know, for a $900 bow, I, I would have thought the bear would have had something like that fixed. And I've read a lot of people's reviews and complaints, and I've tried to even tune it out of this bow. It just does not tune out of this bow. The cam lean on the bottom cam is just... Now, there's no cam lean on the top, obviously, because you got your bus, your split bus cable there. But the, the bottom cam does lean, and it rubs up against that cable. And it's got some scuffing on the cam there. I don't like that at all. Um, <clears throat> I was concerned, I am concerned, that Bear exaggerated their IBO speeds. You know, yeah, they listened to their customer, but how much were they trying to get out of their customer uh, with the increased price with a bow that wasn't shooting IBO? This bow was rated for 340 feet per second, and they came out, and at least they admitted it, so admirable there, but they came out and they said, hey, this bow doesn't meet 340 feet per second. Who was testing it, I don't know how it got through all those tests and got that speed published, I don't know. But it's really only shooting about 330 feet per second. And I had the same problem with my bear attack. You know, so this is something that bear really needs to kind of get a handle on. You know, other bow companies do exaggerate IBO speeds, but I've had two consistent bears, bear bows that have uh, really exaggerated their IBO speed. And, you know, I, I want a company to be honest with me. And I want a company to be honest with me from the start. I don't want to come out and say, hey, you know, sorry, you just dropped 900 bucks on a bow that's 10 feet per second slower than what we told you it was. You know? So I know I'm being a little bit harsh on this bow. Like I said, it's a great bow. You know, it, it's very accurate, very forgiving. You know, I'm not a great shooter, and I can shoot instinct shots with this bow, you know, without a sight or anything on it and put good groups together out to 15 yards. So uh, it does have a lot of forgiveness. It, it does, it's very accurate. But, you know, if, if I'm going to hold this bow, stack it up against other top-of-the-line bows, it's as good as my bear attack. You know, it's maybe even a little bit better because it's longer, lighter, uh, 
but it doesn't really compare to your $900, $950 bows. And I hate to say that about bear because I really, like I said, I have a fondness in my heart for bear archery. But this bow just, the, the strings are not as quality as some of the other strings that come on other bows. You know, your, your draw cycle is not quite as consistent, not quite as smooth. And you got some very real problems with the bow, like the cam rub and the wear and tear on the rubber string stops that uh, are, are cause for concern for a lot of people. But overall, I, I do like this bow. I, I really do. It does shoot well. Uh, like I said, I didn't pay full price for it. If I had, I'd have felt ripped off. But because I didn't, I don't. And I, I, I really think that if you go out and you, you purchase this bow, you, you will be thoroughly impressed with the bow, the speed. Let me go ahead and take one more shot, just for good measure, so you can kind of see the bow again. I always get done with these re reviews and think to myself, man, I wish there was something I would have done more in the review or something I would have said. But let me go ahead and shoot it one more time. And you can see, I mean, how it dumps off into the valley there. But, I mean, it holds solid. It holds really good at full draw. But it's really light, too. And I'm really weak. And so it, uh, it holds great for me. And there I kind of held my regular shooting form. And you could tell that the bow didn't want to jump. Didn't try to, you know, kick the bottom cam out or nothing like that. But overall, a great bow. You know, if you can pick one up used... Do it. No problems here. Thanks and have a great day.